Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 29, and this is war number 10. We've got two wars after this one in the season. And we're going up against an alliance. I cannot pronounce their name. Uh, but you can see the alliance we're going up against there. So let's go ahead and spectate and see what they have in store. It's a little bit late uh, that I'm coming into this war here. Uh, looks like they have a lot of blank spots. I just noticed that. Uh, but they filled up my path. So we've got uh, Medusa, who used to be a very good defender. Uh, they even chose her as the boss many a time. But nowadays, there's so many counters. Uh, Claire should be able to handle this uh, fight pretty easily. Let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Active armor up, yeah. That uh, shock is annoying. Uh, always makes me want to bring in a shock immune champion, but Claire should be able to handle that. Uh, and then we've got uh, Storm Pyramid X. Uh, Nick Fury should be able to deal with that one. The mini was already taken out. Uh, we've got Mysterio here. And... Um, Nick Fury could do this fight, uh, if need be. Then we've got Warlock. I'll probably use Claire. We've got Hit Monkey. Nick Fury can do that fight. Uh, then we've got Mole Man. Uh, Warlock would be who I generally choose for uh, that node in particular, so... Uh, if I had to, I would just boost up and most likely use Warlock. And let's see, Mini Boss Island to the left. We've got Kingpin. Uh, Claire does this node very well. It's a rage node. So if need be, I uh, could use Claire. Nick Fury might also work, but Kingpin likes to shrug those things off. So uh, Claire would be who I used. Uh, then we've got Nick Fury in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, Nick Fury can handle that Nick Fury. Uh, Claire could also do that fight. And then we've got uh, Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, Nick Fury boosted uh, can do that fight as well pretty easily. Uh, then down here we've got Ultron. And I guess... Claire could do it if uh, if I was careful and played around that node. Uh, Killmonger, the only one I have that could possibly do this one uh, pretty well would be Nick Fury. But I don't like uh, fighting Killmonger with Nick Fury. Uh, it didn't go well the times that I did, so uh, I would definitely avoid that. And then we've got Spider-Gwen. Someone that can counter evade. Nick Fury can do that. Um, but, all right. So, I don't see anything that would cause me to bring in a different team, uh, attack team, uh, other than I usually do. Uh, so, that's what I'm going to do. All right. We'll be back uh, with the fighting. All right. So, we're back. And I'm going in with my standard team. And I don't anticipate any issues. Uh, after looking over my paths, we should be good. Now, I'm going in here a little bit late. We have uh, different time zones. And a lot of times, I'll want to delay so that I can try and go in around the time they're going in. But... Sometimes I fall asleep and then I wake up and I'm like, oh man, I forgot to go in because uh, I'm used to going in early, right away. You know, uh, I might have to go back to doing that because I, I don't want to be that guy. But usually when I go in, they have not uh, started yet. All right. So first fight, we've got Medusa. And Claire should be able to handle Medusa very, very well. She should not 
have to worry about any of those living strands or anything like that. And boom, she's down. Medusa used to be such an awesome defender. They would put her as the boss even. But nowadays, no. Defenders have a shelf life. And I used to tell people, uh, unless you're already secure in your attack team, do not rank up for defense. Do that only when you already have a strong team of attackers. Because defenders have a shelf life. They'll be strong defenders for a little while, but it's not going to last. But your attackers, they'll last. Okay? So, now we've got um, Storm Pyramid X. And she's actually an annoying defender because of her glancing ability it actually can make the fight go longer and you can mess up uh, i do not try to evade her special two that special two i do not know how to evade i've done it so i know it's possible but uh, i'm not good at it but that glancing if you glance that last hit if you'll notice it glances and i don't get that big damage so she's actually a, an annoying defender. But uh, the reason that I chose Nick Fury is because he will bleed her down eventually. All I gotta do is just keep baiting out those special ones and we should be good. So look at all that glancing. But we got her. Very, very annoying, you know? Uh, and on the right node, she can be really a pain. But we were able to get her down. Not too much difficulty there. And already the uh, mini was taken. And there's no way I was going to fight that mojo. We got some heavy hitters coming in there. Um, I don't know if they torched him or uh, how they did it. But they took care of uh, that mojo. Uh, I, I would not have done well on that fight. All right, so second section is open. And this fight, I was a little concerned about because Warlock is a pain. He is really annoying. Warlock against Warlock, that would have worked in this fight. It would have been a little bit of a longer fight, I think. But it would have worked. But I didn't choose to do that. Uh, I went in with uh, Claire. That's who I chose to do. Uh, but I'm boosting up. It's towards the end of the season. Uh, I don't believe at this point we have a shot at Platinum 3. So I'm just going to be using my boost because why not? Okay. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, so we've got Claire. And I'm going to get the infections on me so i won't be able to heal back up in this fight i knew that going in so i was not planning on that okay now i'm in a uh, curse of blood because warlock will have an armor up he will uh even after you uh, nullify his armor up it's gonna come back so i stayed in curse of blood because of the node Every time I hit him and he has an armor up, there's a chance. And the way that this game works, that small chance is a large chance. And uh, I will get a bleed on me. Uh, so that in addition to, you know, the degen with him can be annoying. Okay, so we got him down. Uh, she's a little worse for wear, as you can see, but we did get him down. Now, Hit Monkey. Hit Monkey is either really easy or he'll wreck you. I, I'm wary of fighting Hit Monkey, okay? Uh, if you mess up, he will wreck you. Real quick, he will wreck you. So... I have a bunch of invulnerability boosts, okay? Not gonna be able to use them all um, and they're gonna end up expiring. So may as well put that on and just go to town. Try not to knock him down 
bait out his special one. See how I'm just holding it, letting that bleed do its work. And that's pretty much how I'm doing that fight. Okay, just letting that bleed do the work. And it was nice and easy. But if you mess up, next thing you know, because I've had that happen with Nick Fury. Next thing I know, the real Nick Fury was out and almost down in a in, in like a move of hit monkey so i'm always wary of hit monkey all right now we've got mole man and i still have the invulnerability boost on so we should be good all right i'm checking out trying to make sure that i remember the um the nodes I checked, and yes, we still have our vulnerability boost. And um, what did I do here? Yeah, do a little bit of extra. Um, thinking on it now, because of the suppression and the node, probably didn't need to do that. You know, my special one is not going to do anything really to Mole Man. He's um, immune to the shock and I'm unlikely to get to a special two. So that boost was probably just a waste. But right now I'm just trying to build up my infections. There we go, got the infections up. So now he won't be healing. Um, and uh, you can see I'm trying to race up there, but that suppression starts hitting, not getting up there. All right, I'm trying here. You see, he's being, I'm not gonna hit into his block. And I get almost to a special two and the suppression shuts me down. Unless I have uh, that advanced power boost where I start with one bar, I'm not going to get to a special two. That pretty much, you know, and like I said, my special one, it'll do a little bit, but he's immune uh, to the shock, so. As you can see, we're going in, and he was tagging me. Not sure how, but he was tagging me good. And uh, because my Warlock is awakened, I can at least put a little degen when I, you know, do some power drain. But with Mole Man, you know, he likes shrugging stuff off. But boom, we got him down. So, no deaths. And we were able to clear our paths and even take a mini. So uh, I believe that was it for uh, my participation in this war. Uh, at this time, they had already beat Mini Boss Island and the boss, as you can see there. All right, so in a moment, we'll be back after a brief intermission and you will see how this war and we're back and unfortunately we lost this war like i said in the beginning i'm pretty sure we're locked into platinum four with uh no chance to get to platinum three all right so that's gonna do it guys thank you all for watching the video feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day Thank you.